Welcome back. In this video, we will dive deeper into public risk perceptions, including how situational factors influence people's perceptions of risk. Over the course of this video, we will specifically cover three factors. Number one, people's demands for immediate answers in situations of uncertainty. Number two, the role of stress in how people process information. And number three, issues that impact the general public's outrage. Several factors almost always make communicating during a crisis or a public health threat difficult. The first is the uncertainty that surrounds new situations. Public health crises typically involve a lot of uncertainty and incomplete information. This is especially true very early on when little is known about the public health threat. At this time, people have questions, but answers are often lacking, or those answers might change over time. In the context of COVID-19, uncertainties have impacted how people think about the vaccines. For instance, some people are concerned about the speed of development of the vaccines, including how well tested they are. Others have questions about the safety and benefits of the vaccine or the difference between one dose versus two dose vaccines. Across the globe, people are wondering why specific vaccines are used in one country, but not necessarily in another. While answers to these questions exist, some people are unable or unwilling to listen due to the second factor we will highlight in this video, stress. People tend to have higher stress when met with the uncertainties that surround a new or perceived threat to their health. In turn, this stress reduces people's attention and recall of incoming information and leads people to focus more on negative rather than positive information. Once again, there is clear evidence this is happening around discussions of COVID-19 development. For example, the media and the public tend to focus on concerns about the vaccine rather than the incredibly promising data that came from the vaccine trials. In turn, this further heightens stress, which can further impact information processing. Therefore, when messaging to people who are stressed, the focus should be on highlighting positive developments and communicating in short, clear sentences to increase understanding. Finally, let's revisit the topic of outrage as a factor that influences risk perceptions and public response to risk messaging. What drives outrage within members of the public? Remember, outrage in this context refers to people's emotions towards a risk. A few key things make people more or less outraged, that is, more or less concerned with a risk. Let's look at them. Number one, people are more outraged and concerned with risks that impact children rather than adults. In the case of COVID-19, this can weaken people's concern about the virus and lower their intentions to get vaccinated. In turn, this can impact goals like herd immunity if otherwise healthy young people are unwilling to get vaccinated to protect older people who cannot receive a vaccine. Number two, people are especially concerned about risks that cannot be seen. For example, COVID-19 is transmitted through the air and even among individuals who are not showing symptoms. This can increase concerns and intentions to get vaccinated. Number three, people are also more concerned about risks that are unfamiliar or new to them. There are two examples of this from COVID-19. During the early weeks and months of COVID-19, public concern was at its peak, driven by a lack of knowledge about the virus. But now, this also factors into safety concerns about the COVID-19 vaccines, driven by a lack of understanding about how they were developed. Number four, people get quite concerned when things are forced upon them. 
there is some evidence that discussions about vaccine mandates may have strengthened people's resistance to being vaccinated. Number five, people worry about vaccines in general because the benefits seem uncertain to them or they believe that the risks outweigh any potential benefits. In reality, vaccines do not cure an existing problem, but rather prevent a potential problem from happening. This can make the benefits of vaccination appear uncertain to some. In summary, this video highlighted three factors that complicate people's perceptions of risk. These factors include people's demands for immediate answers in situations of uncertainty, the role of stress in how audiences process information, and issues that impact the general public's outrage. To learn more, please continue to tune into our Communicating About COVID-19 Vaccine Safety video series.